Generation Science tours all across Scotland, seeing primary schools wherever they are, regardless of geography, with excellent and um, engaging science. I think we're lucky at our show, we've got a good mixture of um, a sort of a show, so we get to perform and we get to do experiments mm -hmm. inside the show, so rather than being a sort of a show and a workshop, ours is combined yeah. and it means that the kids get up and we get volunteers and uh, we get some good laughs. Yeah, we do. I think a lot of the teachers feed off that and to have a few kids who often don't get too involved, to see them suddenly be brought into the whole group and like give it a go. I think it supports the way I teach in the classroom because nowadays we do a lot of cooperative teaching and this is what this is all about, working together in teams, together equal partners, in groups of three or four to come to a solution. For example, in primary schools it tends to be physics that the teachers have most problem with but that's the bits that we can demonstrate nice and easy for them in a, in a fun and engaging manner. Talking about things that are important with, with, with small people, one of the nicest things is when they start off being frightened of bees and by the end they're not frightened of bees. Absolutely, they're loving it, as you can see, uh, full of energy, so enthusiastic and it's great getting some experts in to work with the kids to have it so practical for them. Most of the, the kit and the communicators that we take into classrooms don't exist in primary schools, so it gives them a chance to try different things, but also engages kids that sometimes don't engage in a normal school environment with something that's just a bit different for their day. It's also, I think, because it's someone else coming in, so it's it's different faces for the kids and, and the teachers. Yes, it works! I think it's just going out and getting young people, young kids interested in it. I mean, there's a difference in the classroom than actually getting them in here and actually doing the experiments for themselves and working together with each other to solve problems and things. So I think it's really great that the, you guys come out and do this sort of thing. We put a lot of effort into making the things that we take into schools so unusual, whether they are striking performances or great workshops using equipment that schools would never get. They're exceptional experiences for the teacher and for the pupils. So we have a tremendously um, engaged band of science communicators that we put across schools in Scotland each year who are fun, engaged and really enthusiastic, which is the bit that primary schools need. We went, we went up north as well, so we went up north of England. It's got a nice ring to it, that.